What's up guys? Welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be looking at two portable SSD drives from Crucial. Now you might know Crucial from uh, their big name in, in computer memory or RAM, um, but they also do storage. All right, so uh, two drives here, the uh, X line, we've got the X6 and the X8. Both are two terabyte editions. Um, they do work on Windows, Mac, and Android, and also uh, PS4, Xbox One. So if you're looking for some extra storage there, uh, the X8 is a beautiful addition to that because it's faster. Okay, So if you're going to choose between the one or the other for console gaming, I would definitely go with the X8. So what makes these so different? is, as you can see here, this one boasts reads of 540 megabytes per second, okay? This one doubles, double down, right? Almost double down, not quite double down. It'd be 1080, but this is 1050 megabytes per second. Why? One has NVMe technology, which is the X8. The X6 is strictly going to be USB 3.2, Type C, more than likely. Um, so that's the difference. With NVMe, you ramp up almost 50% more. Thus, if you're going to do something that really requires heavy I/O, then you want the X8. So let's go ahead, take another quick gander here uh, of what it says. This is just massive storage at your fingertips with SSD speed and a quality lightweight design. Uh, again, we've already kind of talked about it. Uh, USB-C, what's in it? Uh, to USB-C cable. Quick start guide and the actual SSD itself. Um, so, let's just go ahead. And again, it does work with Windows 10.8.1, Mac OS, and Android. Um, so, let's go ahead and pop open the X6. You can take a quick look at its little form factor. What you get. There you go. Super nice little form factor. There's your USB-C. Other than that, it says two terabyte portable SSD on it. Very small form factor. And again, you get the quick start guide and a C to C cable. All right, that's what you get with the X6. Next, we've got the X8. And let's go ahead and get the unboxing knife. And what we're gonna do is actually do a speed test. We'll see if these actually get what they claim they get, right? So we'll, we'll, we'll use our MacBook Pro after we take a look at them and run a speed test on them and see exactly what kind of speeds we get. They're going to boast what they get. We're going to see if the numbers jive on it. All right, and again, super this one's actually feels a little sturdier. This one feels more aluminum versus plastic. This is like an aluminum housing right here. But again, you get your Crucial, got your Type-C, and again, two terabyte portable SSD. You get your quick start guide, and you get another C to C cable right there. So, those are the two, the X6, the X8. Let's go ahead, we'll pause the video, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in the MacBook, and we're gonna run a speed test on each one of these and see what we get for read and write IOs, and if they come close to the 540 here, or the 1050 here. And it does say up to, I'm gonna be fair, it says up to, but let's see how close up to we get. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back guys. And what we're gonna do here is actually pan up just a little bit. So you can see the screen. Now, we're going to select disk and we're going to select the X6 as our target disk. And we're going to be using the Blackmagic Design disk speed test. So here we go. We're going to run it on the X6. Now, remember, this said up to 540 megabytes per second. And, you know, in the right side, we're getting about 464 on the first pass. And look at that on the read. We're actually getting pretty darn close to the 540. Uh, 525.8 on the first, 
on the second pass, right's getting yeah, about the same. Not quite up there at the 500 megabytes per second. And then read, uh, so we're staying pretty steady. So again, did it get there? Read almost, writes, a mm, little short, but not too bad. So that is the X6. So let's go ahead and stop the test. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna do select target drive. And now we're gonna chill, select the X8. Now again, the X8 NVMe, start the test. We should see, look at that. Look at that, 939, 936. That's on the rights, megabytes, read. Oh, closer to with the reads and writes on this guy. So 948 on their first pass with reads. And so are we getting the 1050? No. Are we getting close? Uh, about 100 megabytes per second, it looks like, short on, on both sides, read and write. So, is that fast? Yeah. Are you going to notice a difference? Only if you're copying an insane amount of data from one device to another. I don't think this is going to impact any kind of, like, if you're playing on the Xbox or the PS4 or 5 or whatever, is that going to impact anything? Probably not. This is fast. All right. So... I'm going to do one other speed test. I want to show you something, and we'll be right back. Okay, so what we've done is we've taken the X8, which is the NVMe, which we were getting almost 1,000 megabytes per second on, and we put a dongle in the middle. And we switched it from using a Type-C port to a USB 3.2 port. What kind of difference do you think we're going to see? Well, let's run it. Here we go. Holy moly, look at that. Again, be careful what you do when you buy certain storage. With a dongle in the middle going to USB type A, 3.2, I have now taken this down to like this guy's speed, the X6, okay? I'm paying extra for the NVMe. Uh, if I set up this up like this, I'm not gonna take advantage of that money that I spent for the super speed or anything like that. Now, are you wondering, maybe it's just the dongle, right? Let's swap it. Let's stop the speed test. Let's go ahead and eject the disk. And what we're gonna do here is we're going to take out of the equation the USB. We're just gonna go to type C. This dongle happens to have a type C pass-through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in this to the dongle in the Type-C port, and we're gonna come in here. There it is, it's already saw it. And we're going to click here. We're gonna select the target drive. And we're gonna do the X8 again. But this time, this is still going through the dongle, but I'm not using the adapter that came with it for the Type-A USB. Here we go. Boom. And we're doing the exact same thing. The dongle is the bottleneck. We're getting half speed when we introduce a dongle. So, you shouldn't have to use a dongle, right? If you got equipped with the uh, Type-C ports, you're gonna be good. But you just gotta be careful. I wanted to demonstrate this. When you put a dongle in the middle of it, you're at the mercy of the dongle. This happens to be an Inatech one, which is one that's actually pretty good. But if you're putting in, you're using your USB-C port so you can use other devices like SD cards and, and USB type A and HDMI or whatever, and you put in this NVMe drive into this dongle, you've just halved your, your speed. That's not good. And I'm gonna zoom out so you can see exactly what this setup looks like right here. In a tech dongle, NVMe drive, okay? Anyway, guys, check the link in the show notes. I'll have both the X6, the X8, where you can pick them up. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and as always, guys, thanks for watching, and have a good one.